Entertainment, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 5 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Police say this body cam video shows an EMT attacking a teenager in the back of an ambulance. Relax, relax. Yo, mama. You see, officers had to pull her away. Relax. relax. What is wrong with you? What set her off and the reason the teenager's parents say he was defenseless? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jovita Moore. I'm Justin Farmer. Now new at 5, this police body camera video shows exactly when officers realized the EMT was punching the teen patient in the back of the ambulance. Channel 2 investigative reporter Wendy Halloran fought to get that video from the city of Dunwoody and talked to the victim's parents. They say they're outraged. Police say this video shows emergency medical technician Deanna Williams repeatedly punch a 17-year-old patient in the face. Dunwoody police officer Lopez hears yelling and screaming and goes to the side of the ambulance and pulls her out. The boy was handcuffed behind his back, restrained at the ankles, on a stretcher as Williams allegedly beat him. The teenager we are not identifying was supposed to be transported to the hospital for an evaluation. Williams was trying to put a spit mask on him. Relax. Relax. What is wrong with you? Spit on me. This is your job. Williams is interrogated. That is a kid. That is I a child. A 15 year old child. What you are you doing? Spit on me. The officer let her have it. So this is your job. You do this for a living, I understand, right? understand, but you're not going to spit on me. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. This is your job. I don't know the f if you don't like people spitting on you, then quit. Hey, hey, I can never do that. Okay. Officer Lopez can't believe what he witnessed. This is not real life right now. Either can the other officers. That's a lawsuit. Wait, 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 wait. Am I wrong? You all right, man? Yeah, you okay? Lawsuit. Are you okay? Oh, I'm going to tell my parents about that straight up. Williams was arrested. You're going to be under arrest okay. this for battery. The boy's parents agreed to speak exclusively with us. We are protecting their identity. Come on, he's a child. You know, no, no human being deserves that. They read the police report. Had my blood boiling even more. But they have not seen this video. I'm very appalled, and they both should be held accountable on the, co um, the company and also her for what she did. I reached out to AMR, which issued a statement that reads, in part, we take this matter very seriously. The individual is no longer an employee with American Medical Response. The safety of our patients and our care is of the utmost importance to us. Now, Williams bonded out of jail. I have been unable to reach her. Live in the newsroom, Wendy Halloran, Channel 2, Action News. And it seems we can expect our first responders, EMTs, police officers, to be able to understand when you're dealing with the public, you've got to be held to a higher standard. Wendy, thank you.